What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and today I'm just going to be showing you a little OU battle that I per partook in. Um, this is my team um, that I made back in 2017. Um, just before, actually it was just before Sun and Moon came out. It was probably like the summer before Sun and Moon came out. The original Sun and Moon, not Ultra Sun and Moon, but Sun and Moon. Um, and I came up with this little team of OU Mons. And I don't know if they've actually changed as far as their tier. But, uh, I like using them all the same. Um, so we have Scizor, uh, who was our Mega. We have Breloom, Fighting Grass, uh, Gliscor, um, Clefable, Starmie, and Sableye. So I'm just going to show you, you know, kind of what this team can do with this, uh, man, you guy that I battled, um, belly jump slurp off. I set up stealth rocks times four. Um, I get toxic cause I'm holding the toxic core, but I'm toxic heal. So I kind of put them on the timer with uh, toxic right there. Drain punch didn't do much to me, obviously. Um, healed it right back up. So now I'm just going to be a quick EQ does about 39% play rough comes in. He misses me. Really bad luck on his part. If that play rough would have hit me, I felt like I would have done pretty decent damage. Um, this EQ takes it out. Um, so right off the bat, I'm kind of holding a good ground here. I'm 6-1 right now. A U-turn comes out super effective against that Meganium. I switch into Clefable. Uh, a Meganium with Substitute kind of shocked me because I've never seen that before. Um, again, a, another set up Mon with Swords Dance. Uh, but However, my Clefable has Flamethrower. Meganium's up times two. This Pedal Dance comes in, does a massive amount of damage, but my Flamethrower connects and ends Meganium right there. Um, so, still a pretty good lead. Now, I was a little afraid of Dawn Fan. Uh, this Moonblast does drop him by over half. Body Slam gets the para, which was really lucky for him. Uh, Head Smash taking me out, of course. Um, Dawn Fan drops a little bit. I think he has. Oh, it's just a recoil. Um, so, I'm still in the lead here, but looking pretty good. That Fire Fang, I did not expect. Um, Mock Punch does take out. I, now that I think about it, I probably should have used Bullet Seed on him. Um, now, Altaria is his Mega, I found out. But Spore connects, puts him to sleep. Berlim holds it in Bullet Seed and him out. 9%, 8%, 9% again, 8% again. Massive damage. Wakes up, unexpected. Gets take out by Moon Blast. Okay, so I'm like, all right. He's going to make a comeback, which is good. However, this Infernape right here, this surprised me. I honestly had no idea what this Infernape, Infernape could do to me. Um, I, I don't know why. I didn't think Blaze Kick was a thing. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of shocked me. It took me away. Um, so now it's a it's a three-on-three -three match, which now I'm getting nervous because I'm like, oh, man. He might come back on me. I was doing so well. Um Psychic comes in again, 39%. Shadow Ball taking out Starmie. So now it's a 2-3 situation. I'm still a little nervous. Sableye comes out. Um, Alteria taking damage from Rocks. Knockoff doesn't do much. Uh, I Willow Alteria, putting him on a timer. Moon Blast me. Almost kills me. Thank goodness it did not. Um, I think I, I protect here. He goes for an attack. He gets hit by Burn again. So I'm like, okay. Next turn, regardless, I think he goes down. I recover. Uh, Dazzling Gleam again, takes out by, not burn, he actually survives this turn, Gliscor comes out, uh, U-turn, taking out Altair, now it's a one-on-two matchup, uh, obviously Rox does a massive amount of damage to him, Jellicent goes down to EQ, now it is a fully, that did nothing, that close combat didn't do much, drops him down a little bit, EQ comes in, takes out Infernape, we do pick up the W, um, this matchup was really really close like he came back from what i thought was tremendous um obviously i made some poor plays i should have uh you know used bullet seed on that dawn fan which i did not um i should have been more careful i don't know why i was thinking iron fist and Fernape, and he was gonna have fire punch which was it was only 75 per uh, only 75 damage um i should have been thinking about that but, um, yeah, so it was a foolish mistake on my part to even keep Scizor in there. I should have switched right into Glass. We should have predicted it. But I did not. Um, so I'm just going to try to get better as a battler, personally. But, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this little OU battle, if you guys would like to battle me, make sure you guys write down my name down there. You can challenge me at any time. I am the Phantom Michael YT for YouTube on Pokemon Showdown. So, all right, you guys. I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.